dear brothers and sisters, in Jesus' name, peace be with you all. Uh, this is a wonderful day once again. The Lord has given us, even though it is a lockdown. We are locked down globally or in the country. But I just want to say that uh, we are locked in, as my brother Sean puts it in his video. So to be locked in, I believe that <clears throat> we are simply given a chance to draw closer uh, to God where we are supposed to strengthen our relationships with the Lord, where we are supposed to strengthen our relationship with our families and also not only to sit at home and eat and get fed, but that we should consider also our calling with the Lord and revive and steer our gifts uh, during this lockdown. Lockdown, I believe it means uh, being unable to do business as usual. We are not allowed to walk around and visit people we love and do shopping the way we do, of which is actually a, a good time for us to do or to practice a quiet time. I do believe so much in conducting a quiet time because that's where we are able to attentively hear God and to get ourselves focused on what God has called us. So I also love these two brothers, which is Paul and Silas, in the book of Acts chapter 16, verse number 25. It says that they were also locked down by the leaders of that time and the leaders of the Jews because they were preaching the word of God so much that there was power and the people resisted. I mean, the world resisted the, the, the power of God. So they decided to confine these two brothers, but also beat them and keep them in prison. But what was in them, I learned that they were locked down by the high priest and the Jews and the leaders of that time. But them, since they had faith in God, they simply took it as an opportunity to be ushered into the very presence of God because right there in prison, while they were in chains, in pains of being beaten, then what happened? They proceeded, they never ceased, but they continued to sing praise to God. They continued to pray. It says in verse 25, at midnight, Paul and Silas were praying and singing hymns to God and the other prisoners were listening. So our prayers that we will do this time and the praises that we will do this time will tell the world, will even speak to our neighbors that we've got a better thing in us than what they have in the world. I like even the time when Jesus died on the cross. He cried, I am thirsty. And the only thing the world could provide for him was the, was the vinegar mixed with wine, of which it could not solve his thirst. But it's only Jesus Christ who has, who is an answer, who, or who has a solution to the world. So even right now, us during this lockdown time, we can draw more closer to God and we can grow deeper in his weight. And by doing so, we can become the better ministers, better leaders, better people. And our relationships can also be <clears throat> made better. And the other thing that I like in this scripture, it says at midnight when they were praying and singing, what happened? The prison was shaken to its foundation and the prison gates flew open and everyone who was bound who was in chain those chains fell down so let us bazalwane pray let us praise the lord let us intercede because 
those things, when we do them, they will not only set us free, but they will also, they, will, they have a far-reaching effect. They, will, they are able to deliver someone who is in a similar problem, maybe, or challenges such as me and you. But we know that God answers prayer. Whether you pray loud, whether you pray quietly, or whether, but this, we've been given a chance that we can spend with God in prayer and seek his face. Seeking the Lord's face, it's something awesome that we can do. David one day said, one thing I desire is to dwell in the house of the Lord and behold his beauty. We wanted so much to glorify God, to worship God in truth and in spirit. We wanted to see God's beauty, but we've been busy and we failed. But now this is the time. So let us be encouraged, brothers. There's more that God can unfold into our lives or can put in our lives so that even after this lockdown, we can become a mighty warrior. I believe there's a re there, there could be a revival after this lockdown because people would have been filled with the power of the Holy Spirit, would be filled with the sound word of God, a burning passion to finish what Jesus has started. So may God bless you and uh, we hope we'll meet again.